Oh, I love this story. An after-work hobby has led a Winnipeg man to the world stage. Drew Sitch, there he is, is headed to California this weekend. He is going to compete in the IFPA World Pinball Championship. He's going to play against 80 pinball enthusiasts from around the globe as one of four Canadians who are there. So Drew Sitch is joining us from Winnipeg this morning. Uh, Drew, first of all, congratulations and welcome to your morning. Good morning. Thank you so much. Okay. What, first of all, led to your passion for pinball? Uh, I started playing when I was, uh, when I was about 19, I would go after work with a, a fella from work. He'd bring me to this convenience store and, uh, we used to play every day, every other day after work. And I, uh, I just kind of fell in love with it. That's a lot of cash. In. I mean, I remember when it used to be a quarter, but I just saw in that pinball machine there, it's a, it's a dollar uh, for every play. How Drew, do you train for an event like this where you're heading to the world championship? Um, you know, you just got to go out, uh, you know, go to your local arcade or if you got games yourself, you know, you just practice and, you know, there's, there's hundreds of different pinball machines and they're kind of like a video game or a board game. Every game has its own set of rules. So, uh, you know, you got to really study up on the rules and, uh, learn, learn every game at, as its own thing. And, uh, you know, really, uh, really learn to get control of the ball and, and nudge the game and uh, figure out what shots you need to make at the right time. Okay, can you explain some of that for us? Because listen, I think I'm like most people where I just like slam on the sides of the machine and hope that the ball's gonna go where I need it to go. How do you actually plan your shots and how do you practice that? Uh, yeah, so every a lot of people think that you just, you know, flip your flippers around and hopefully something good happens. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot more to that. Um, you know, uh, when the ball comes down to your flippers, there's different skills you can do to uh, to get control or slow the ball down. And eventually, once the ball is slowed down, you want to try and hold it and keep the ball still. And then you let your flipper drop. And, uh, you know, when it gets to a certain point on the flipper, uh, that's when you take your shot. And, you know, that's kind of how you aim, almost like, uh, you know, aiming something with your hockey stick or a, oh. a golf club or something, right? You know, at, at a certain point on the flipper, that's where you shoot the ball. And, uh, you know, you're, you're trying to shoot the flashing shots or maybe the jackpot or, uh, you know, something really valuable. That's a really good comparison, like hockey or to golf. Okay, so is that the secret then to being a good, or not even good, but a great pinball player, or is there something else? Uh, you know what, that is a big, big part of it. The other part of it is nudging. You know, uh, a lot of people think you just stand there and you just, you know, flip the buttons, but, you know, you got to move the game around, and every game has a mechanism that, you know, it only lets you nudge it so far and then you tilt, so you really got to find a fine balance because when you nudge it, that's what prevents you from losing the ball sometimes. I am so fascinated by this, Drew. Also, I'm just looking behind you, and I love that you have Tommy as one of the pinballs set up behind you. Uh, you have quite a collection of pinball games, I understand. So, so what can you tell us about your collection and the games that you love? Uh, yeah, I have, I own around 40 pinball machines. Oh, wow. I started, I started collecting in about, uh, 2019. So it's been a busy few years for me. Um, you know, you, you just, you find them cheap online and, and you fix them up yourself. And, uh, you know, I'm one of the few collectors, I don't sell my games. So that's why I've, I've got so many and I'm fortunate. I have lots of room to store them all. And yeah, I, I, I take pride. I find a lot of unique and, and different games. And, uh, you know, I get a lot of people come in and they go, wow, I've never seen this game before. Or, uh, you know, so uh, yeah, I really take pride in that. Drew Sitch, it is such a pleasure to meet you, to learn more about your sport. The fact that you're representing Canada one of four as you head to the World Championships. We at Your Morning wish you, wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. Thanks for being here today. Have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.